Go. Okay, so a lot of people today's age, weightlifting has become very, very popular. People weightlift to better themselves in sports, enhance themselves, and for a better mental aspect, and even for looks. Uh, what they don't do is they don't know a good routine. So I'm gonna show you some of the basic exercises that I do and how to properly perform those exercises without getting injured. Stretching is very important. You don't wanna injure or you don't wanna risk anything. So I'm gonna walk you through some basic stretches that I do. First thing up, I use this for baseball, but I think it's very, very good to loosen up your shoulders and arms and everything. So if you want to do this, you can. It just loosens up my shoulders, loosens up your whole body. Okay. So with these, I like to do three sets of 10. Um, the first thing I start off with is this way, it works your rotator cuff, also gets you ready for your lifts. So do three sets of 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I immediately go to this position, it works your triceps, gets better pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This still works your rotator cuff, all these do. I immediately go to this, do three sets of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Immediately face the other way, do three sets of ten again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then I just make big circles with my arm and get it really loosened up. Do it the other way. Now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to show you now how to properly bench press. You first want to get a good, comfortable spot. Make sure you have a spotter. Obviously, I don't have any way, as you can see. But when you actually bench press, make sure you have a spotter just in case it falls on you. So you want to get a good, comfortable spot. Lie flat on your back, watch your head, and People never know how to find a good like grip spot. I guess it's your preference. But what I do is there's um, sandpaper spots, grip sandpaper spots. I put my thumb here, my thumb here, and it's good shoulder width apart. Now I'm ready to go. First, tuck in your elbows. You don't want it to be 90 degrees. You don't want to be lifting like this at all. It causes very bad stress on your elbows. So back again, shoulder width apart. You want to kind of tuck your elbows in like this, as so, and just rip her out. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to properly back squat. First things first, I'm gonna take the bench seat out. So, and you wanna make sure when you're back squatting, you have these bar racks up just in case you fall so you don't kill yourself and you want these straps on nice and tight make sure they're secured like so now we got this one all right now what you want to do is find a good oh first things first actually I got, i'm going to take off my shoes because these are elevated you want to make sure you have flat shoes when you back squat so you're not leaning forward if you have elevated shoes. Don't do this in a regular gym, by the way. Um, so you want to find a good center spot and you want to breathe in slowly. And then you just go. Make sure you're centered. And I like to go very, very low. When I do this, I get more of a good leg pump. So there you go. And I like to hold it too. And go up just like that. Go slow, nice and slow. Make sure you're not rushed at all. A lot of people when they do this, they don't they don't go very low at all. They go probably like this. They don't know what they're doing at all. So make sure you go 90 degrees or lower, just like this, and hold to get a better leg 
Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to properly deadlift. We go behind and we got our safety grips on, like so. And when you do this, you wanna be shorter feet width apart from your shoulders. And you wanna have hands opposite each other, like so, like this. And again, back to the sand grippy parts from the bench press, you're gonna place your fingers on the edges grip like that and you almost want to be in a squat position make sure your chest is not down but up or straight across and you want to breathe in slow and breath. and you come back down just like you came up you don't want to a lot of people they do this they use too much back and a lot of people do this and then they go back down, face down. You don't want that. This is good, proper form. Coming up straight. Chest straight at the time. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to do a proper bicep curl. I know a lot of people like doing this. It shows a lot of gains and it can look really big. So I'm gonna grab the 35 dumbbells, just like so. You wanna have your arms resting at your side and when you do this you want to go up slow to get a better muscle contraction and your biceps will look bigger if you go slower so arms rested like this and you want your forms to extend in front of your body go up nice and slow and back down slow and then i know a lot of people they like going this way but they, what they don't do is they reverse it like this. You get more of a bicep pump when you do so, like this, and reverse it. What you don't wanna do is rock your body. That won't work at all. You wanna find a good weight for you and yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over my routine throughout the week uh, with you guys. Uh, Monday I am doing back and biceps, Tuesday shoulders and legs, Wednesday it is chest and triceps, and Thursday is legs, again just legs. I'm doing the six out of seven days a week, I'm repeating the process over and over, same routine, and I usually take Sunday off out of the seven days of the week, and it is scientifically proven, staying physically and mentally fit is will make you very healthy and happier, especially when you're younger, and Keep, keep doing this when you're older you will see very good changes with your body as well um, if you have any questions you can ask me in class i'm open to anything thank you